I've seen a complete transition. I've seen new development become middle-aged development, become old development, change hands a few times and become dilapidated development. Living on this end of the county, I'd noticed that when anything happened big, new and different, it was always north of here. Certain sections of this area are very safe. There are portions of it where there is a concern for safety and more attention must be there. Every summer around here we experience, of course, an increase in gang activity and an increase in graffiti, uh, which we're experiencing right now. The revitalization of this area, I think, will dictate the future of Gwinnett County for a long time to come. Lack of maintenance, uh, had enough of rising crime rates and declining property values. Just this very day, there was a shooting off of um, Button Gwinnett Place Road. Where a lot of people want uh, safer neighborhoods, clean neighborhoods, neighborhoods that people will feel proud of living in. Jimmy Carter Boulevard is regularly listed as the most congested state road in the state. Good morning. Hey, Sally. Good morning. The images you've just seen are shocking. When you consider that this area of Gwinnett County was one of the county's most vibrant regions during the 1980s. I'm Marilyn Ringo and I live and work right here in Norcross. I have witnessed the decline of the community firsthand as a migration further north on the 85 corridor has occurred. Affluent business owners made the move north as better planned traffic controls, reasonable housing and commerce came available, taking with them the commercial anchors needed to maintain a successful retail community. Southwest Gwinnett now exhibits many of the problems and characteristics typical of activity centers in other counties that have higher than average crime rates, declining property values and an overall lack of civic pride. In response to the changing face of the area, the Southwest Gwinnett Village Community Improvement Association was established. In June 2005, the Community Improvement Association, or CIA, hosted a community forum. The turnout proved to be an overwhelming show of support from commercial property owners, concerned residents, and local business and political leaders. What I see happening here in the formation of this CIA is, is the development of a community. Gwinnett County has always been criticized as being without communities of interest, of just being, you know, sprawl upon endless suburb upon endless suburb. An effort being made by those who are interested, as I am, in seeing Gwinnett County do better, uh, it excites me. It's an opportunity for the private sector to take charge of some of the problems and the solutions to the problems that they have here in the area. There's a lot of things individual people can do to make their individual situation better, but the strength of the whole is always greater. And if enough people with a common interest come together as a community and work to improve the community, then the likelihood of success is much greater. It's very exciting uh, from a government standpoint to see citizens coming together, business owners, of folks who've lived and worked here for most of their lives to really take a stand and say they've had enough. When government sees local folks taking an interest in their communities, government's going to take an interest and support what those folks are doing. What you're hearing is, one, is sort of one voice from the community as opposed to having each individual voice that may have a little different opinion. It gives the community a chance to get together, to prioritize interest and concerns and maybe specific projects that they're interested in the community and then speak with one voice and with a voice that can be heard not only at the local level but at the state level and the federal level as well. Building stronger and safer communities I think that's that's what we are about uh, and I think that explained very well what a lot of people want uh, safer neighborhoods clean neighborhoods neighborhoods that people will feel proud of living in the most important message is that, that the property owners need to sign up. It, it cannot happen without the property owner. The Gwinnett Village CIA is asking for your support in order to reach our goals. Our mission? To increase property values, promote business development, and improve the quality of life for all those who live, work, or play in the village. As property owners, we're fortunate to have the ability and duty to assist in the realization of these goals by providing conviction and financial support of our ongoing efforts.
The cost of joining the association is the greater of $500 or one-tenth of 1% 1 of your current property assessment. Our goal is to make the Gwinnett Village an upscale destination business community, such as the Cumberland Mall and perimeter areas. These areas achieved successful revitalization following the organization of a Community Improvement District, or CID, to spearhead neighborhood revitalization and provide a single voice for the community. To achieve the positive impact we desire, the Southwest Gwinnett Village has created a village atmosphere defined by several concepts, including the Village Blue effort, which will improve security by increasing Gwinnett County police presence, hiring off-duty police in support of Gwinnett County law enforcement officers, and intensifying code enforcement in the residential areas as well as the commercial corridors. Also, to improve the curb appeal of the village, the Village Green Initiative will work to create the Gwinnett Gateway as a recognizable entrance to Gwinnett County. Support from local government will provide for the planning and financial development of landscaping and beautification, formation and maintenance of park and plaza spaces, and the preparation, funding, and installation of sidewalks and streetscapes as needed. Additionally, the Village Drive concept will encompass an effort to acquire state and federal funding for major intersection and traffic improvements, as well as the organization of existing public transportation in order to improve traffic flow throughout the CID. The Gwinnett Village area is fortunate to be located so conveniently to downtown Atlanta and the rest of the metro area via 285. The village office concept will work to increase office occupancies and rental rates through development of a PR campaign to make the village an in-place to work. A study of the Gwinnett Village area provides proof that the way to facilitate our long-term goals is through the creation of a CID. Charles Bannister was the leader in the legislature at the time representing a large chunk of the Lilburn area and he led the charge that ultimately allows us now to set up community improvement districts in Gwinnett. Community improvement district is a collection of commercial property owners that uh, get together and form uh, what is essentially a governmental district within a defined area in order to enhance the development of the district, protect property values, assist infrastructure development and it's created through the consent of those property owners. Here in Cumberland we made the decision in 1988 to form a CID. The basic driving force at that time was that there were a significant number of road improvements that needed to be made. Historically in the road building environment the Cumberland CID has been able to leverage funds at a 10 to 1 basis. Since 1988 we've spent 37 million dollars and caused 400 million dollars worth of infrastructure improvement. The small amount of cost that the local commercial property owners put into a project allows them to then leverage that money for the actual construction dollars that will come from the federal government, from the state government, easily in most instances a, a 10 to 1 leverage. CID portfolio on the DeKalb side, which is um, the first CID created at Perimeter, we now have two, Fulton and DeKalb CIDs. The, the DeKalb side in just two years has over $159 million designated to this area. That is a combination of both federal and state funds. We're returning a good value for our investors already. I'd say almost 16 to 1, $16 to 1. We're about two years uh, into our uh, existence and we have just completed a uh, landscape master plan for the full seven miles of uh, Highway 78 and we're in the process now of now getting that plan funded. In the case of Highway 78 our, our leveraging has been phenomenal. That four or five hundred thousand dollars in property taxes that we assessed ourselves we are bringing in nine million dollars worth of improvements to our area. There are no failures among any of the CIDs that have been founded in the Atlanta metro area. Yesterday, August 10th, President Bush initialed off on a transportation bill. The result, $9 million will go to Highway 78, and that's just one of the success stories around the Atlanta CIDs. Property values are going to skyrocket. 
the, the amount that we're asking for for the Community Improvement Association and the amount we're asking for for the CID tax increase is peanuts compared to what is going to be realized by property owners and the value of their property. Stupendous in terms of the, the, uh, the return that you get on your investment dollar. The creation of community improvement districts uh, in the Atlanta area is not really a luxury. It has become the vital model uh, by which areas uh, are now able to help themselves. You can see that those that don't form community improvement districts are going to be left behind. We cannot afford to be left behind. The time is now to move forward and create a community improvement district. In order to form a CID, we need the consent of over one half of the commercial property owners and those consenting must own 75% of the assessed property value in the proposed area. The geographic area of the intended CID is an area that is primarily bounded on the northwest by Buford Highway, the southwest by the DeKalb County Line, the southeast by Britt Road, and the northeast by Beaver Ruin. It includes major roadways such as Jimmy Carter Boulevard, Indian Trail, and Singleton Road. We will bring back the restaurant business to this area so that people want to come here and eat. We'll bring back shops. A rising tide raises all ships. This CID is the only way that this area can be turned around. It can't be turned around by any kind of a governmental agency. It has to be turned around by the owners that are here. Together, we can shape the future. With your financial support and commitment to this important effort, we can achieve our mission of increasing property values, promoting business development, and improving the quality of life for all those who live, work, and play in the village. The time is now. Welcome to Gwinnett Village. Bienvenidos a Gwinnett Village. Ahlan Masahlan. Welcome to Gwinnett Village. It's where we work. It's where we live. It's where we live. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. El tiempo es ahora. The time is now. It's for our future. Our future. We can do this. We can do this. We can help. One voice. One voice will be heard. We will bring it back. Una sola voz se escuchará. One voice will be heard. These are your property values. Call and join us today.